In this video, we'll be taking a look at Arvis, a powerful visualization tool for ROS. To start Arvis, open up a terminal, source our installation setup script, and run the command Arvis, R-V-I-Z. The interface for Arvis has several parts. A 3D viewport in the center lets us visualize any 3D data associated with our robot system. Dockable panels give us different controls for our visualization, and the toolbar at the top lets us control what kinds of interactions we're doing with the data in the 3D viewport. Arvis panels can be moved, docked, and even put into tabs with each other. So don't worry if your Arvis layout doesn't look exactly like the one I have here. Your team may even have Arvis layout files for common Arvis layouts for running their robot. Let's look at the three basic panels that Arvis gives us when we first start it up. The Views panel controls the camera in our 3D viewport. We can set the type of motion the camera exhibits and reset it back to its default position. We also have several parameters that control the way our camera renders the world, such as how close or far away it can actually render objects. The Time panel on the bottom shows us the time references that ROS is keeping track of. This includes the wall time provided by our operating system, as well as the ROS time provided by any ROS simulators that we're running. Finally, the Displays panel controls what information we're actually trying to visualize within Arvis. At the top, we have our global options. This includes things like our target frame rate and background color for the 3D viewport, as well as which TF frame to use as the origin for our viewport. The global fixed frame is a setting you'll want to pay particular attention to. It must be a TF frame that is currently specified by your system, and any data whose frame ID can't be traced back to that fixed frame won't be able to render within the 3D viewport. When we want to visualize the data from a topic in Arvis, we come down to the Add button of the Displays panel. Here we can add a new display to Arvis, either by the type of information we're trying to visualize or by selecting a topic that's currently available in our ROS system. If we add a display by type, for example, let's say we want to visualize an image and hit OK, no data will actually be shown until we fill out the topic field for that display. Notice that some displays, like the image display I just added, can add their own panels for visualizing 2D data. Arvis layout files also include the list of displays. So when you open up a layout file from your team, it will probably already be populated with displays set to the topics specific for your robot. That's it for this video. This was just a quick introduction to Arvis to get you familiar with the interface and where to find common settings.